Hi guys, this is Andrew from Russia here. I've been out from YouTube for a while because I was thinking about my channel and the risks of making new videos here. Well, it was not an easy decision for me, but it's time to come back and tell you about the things that are going on here. So, let's go! So, news number one. Everybody here is discussing the second wave of mobilization. It was not announced, and for this moment everything is quite calm in Russian cities. By the way, several days ago I traveled across the country and I didn't notice any panic or policemen catching guys or something like that. So for now everything is quite calm. But from my experience in Russia everything can happen any second. And the logic tells me that the army will need more troops, at least to hold back the front line. I don't think that uh, it, it will be an official announcement, because uh, it will cause even more panic than it was in September. Perhaps it will be done semi-secretly. In any case, the official decree on the completion of mobilization has not yet been signed, which means that the authorities can recruit new soldiers without any problems and actually any time they would like to do this. News number two. People in Russia have celebrated the New Year and Christmas. Congratulations to you also. And what really scared a lot of people was Putin's New Year's address. The president, surrounded by military personnel, delivered the longest New Year's address ever in office. Of course, much was devoted to the war. The main message was Russia protects people in its historical territories, and the defense of the motherland is the sacred duty of everyone. I will not hide, it was the strangest New Year's Eve in my life. And not only for me, none of my friends had a New Year, New Year's mood also. News number three. Russia and Ukraine have exchanged some very harsh and controversial media bans. In Russia, starting from December, a new order of the federal security state uh, prohibits journalists from talking about forecasts of the development of the military and strategic situation in the country. For the collection of such information in the interests of foreign citizens, a person may be recognized as a foreign agent. In Ukraine, President Volodymyr Zelensky signed the controversial bill on media. It also introduces total state control uh, over journalists. Now, authorities can prohibit the distribution of online media without a court decision, ban media with Russian owners and close sanctioned media without a court decision, ban media for supporting communism, ban media for positive coverage of Russia's actions, and so on. Decisions will be taken by the National Council of Ukraine. And the problem is that the half of the members of the regulator are appointed by the president, the rest by the parliament. And the Institute of Mass Information of Ukraine notes that in the conditions of a presidential mono-majority in parliament, uh, the National Council actually falls under control of the authorities, which is actually and definitely not good for the freedom of speech. As for me, well, I'm returning online, and thank you for your kind messages and your donations. I will make new videos about Russia and my thoughts. Uh, and I wish you all the best in 2023, and I hope that this year will bring peace and happiness to all of us. As John Lennon said, all we need is love, so love and be loved in return, stay safe, take care, bye-bye.